Next today, internet star and the nutritionist, Emily English, joins us for the first time in the This Morning Kitchen. And you've put together a taster menu with ingredients that are supposed to help you live a longer, more vibrant life. Definitely. So I think nutrition can sometimes feel a little bit far removed and a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. But I want to show people that there are things that are in their store cupboard and their freezers that are proper superfoods. Mm -hmm. So we'll kick things off. A tin of tomatoes. We've all got those. All got those. They're really high in an antioxidant called lycopene, and that's responsible for their red colour. Mm -hmm. And lycopene has been associated with improved cardiovascular health, um, decreased cancer risk. It can actually help protect your skin against sun damage as well. And people who have a higher blood concentration of lycopene have a 31% um, lower risk in stroke. Oh, wow. So we have to make sure that we pair the antioxidants with fats, though. So when you're okay. cooking your tomato sauce, that's where good olive oil comes into play. So don't be scared of those fats. Fats boost the absorption of the good stuff. Okay. So, so is it more, more in ca canned tomatoes than yes. there are in... So the Just canning process basically intensifies the tomatoes. Okay. So that's why the tin of uh, tomatoes tends to be so red compared to if you dice fresh ones, yes. for example. Okay. Okay. Next up, capers. Love capers. Capers mm. are one of the highest concentrations of an antioxidant called quercetin. And that antioxidant is also in green tea. Oh. So that same beneficial health compounds that we see in, in green tea are, are in capers. And I love to incorporate them because they take a spoonful, chuck them into your next salad or dressing. I make something called sexy dressing. Um, it's a mix of olive oil, garlic, chilli. And what I'll do is I'll add the capers into there and I'll toss them through any vegetables. So mm -hmm. it literally just transforms. Pimps up your broccoli. Pimps up your broccoli. And it's just an amazing way to get in all of that extra goodness. Mm. So it doesn't have to feel complicated. Mm. And then I'll serve this with a protein and then that's a super powerhouse of a quick and easy dinner. Yes. Love that. Absolutely. So moving on. I'd like you to try this first, actually, before I tell you what's in it. OK. Oh, really? So I think that... <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard that before? Yeah. Then? So a lot of people would be afraid of tinned fish. So not a lot of people think, oh, yeah, sardines, delicious. That's what I want to have. Sardines? That's a sardine bolognese. And the reason being is that tinned fish is mm. an incredible source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are really good for our heart health, our brain health, mm. and also really right. high in something called, um, something called calcium. We all know what calcium something is. Something called calcium. Something called calcium. <laughs> <laughs> but, I've heard of this. What is this calcium you're talking of? So when we eat sardines, we eat the bones as well. Mm, so if yeah. you think about the nutrient density of making sure that you're having the vitamin D and the calcium from the bones, yeah. you're getting that enhanced health benefits too. How did you get into all this? Oh, it's, so, almost scient it's scientific, your level of knowledge. Definitely. So I have a scientific brain, but I also have a love of food. Right. And I think that's the middleman. So I like to marry food that's on our plate that you can enjoy, mm -hmm. knowing that we're getting in all of this good stuff. Mm. So the next time you look in your store cupboard, you'll look at a tin of tomatoes. You won't just be like, tin of tomatoes. You'll think, oh, wow, all of those incredible, like, cellular, protective, yeah. amazing things from those antioxidants. So you've got a passion for nutrition. You've got a passion for what's in the food, but then you turned it into... A business as well, because you're now sort of an influencer. You've got, what is it, over a million followers? Yeah, I mean, combined nearly oh, two God. across both platforms. Wow. But I just love, again, like educating people on, on that simplified nutrition, making nutrition yeah. accessible. Fantastic. Mm. Which brings me on to my next one, mm -hmm. which is fresh versus frozen. And whenever we freeze vegetables, we often have to blanch them mm -hmm. and then we freeze them. And that blanching process is putting into boiling water and that will decrease some of the water-soluble vitamins. So okay. B vitamins, vitamin C, but when we hold fresh food in our fridge for around three days, they reach the same level of the, the frozen kind of post-blanched vegetables. OK, so, so if you've got fresh, use them quickly. Use them quickly or rely on frozen. You're going to be locking in all of the nutrients. It's stable and it's very cost effective. Mm -hmm. But my favourite frozen thing is frozen berries. And the reason being, we don't blanch them. They just instantly go into the freezer. They're full of vitamin C. And also purple berries are full of another antioxidant called anthocyanins. And anthocyanins are very kind of cardio protective. Again, they're really important for the vascular system, brilliant for skin health. This is the compote I make with a whole bag of frozen berries, add chia seeds, top onto yogurt, and you end up getting like something that feels really lovely and healthy but still still super tasty so there's chia seeds in here as well literally how do, how do you do it whole bag of frozen berries yep. straight into the saucepan add the chia seeds the yep. chia seeds will naturally thicken it you can sweeten it with a bit of honey if you want to okay. make it a little bit more complete but it's a fantastic thing that i always have in my fridge it stores oh, up for about a week 
Then those berries are still really lovely. Flavor. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Do you know, mm. they don't Delicious. taste any different. No. Like it's one of those things that you can get away with frozen berries, mm. and they just I mm. always will have a packet in my my freezer. Mm. Then fresh versus dried. Everyone always herbs. thinks dried herbs don't necessarily have as much nutrient density. But the fact is, when we dry them, we intensify all of those lovely aromatic oils and flavors. So even things like oregano, incredibly antibacterial, effective against E. coli. Oh, wow. um, turmeric, a brilliant anti-inflammatory, as you mentioned before, you were good for joints. To Dr. Yeah, Sarah, yeah, good for joints, but also good for um, suggestive evidence in like Alzheimer's protection. Um, really like cardio protective as well. Mm -hmm. Toss them in everything. So these are my spiced potato wedges that have been roasted with garlic, rosemary, dried thyme, dried turmeric, all the good stuff. And you're just getting everything that you need. I love the look of these, by the way. Are they regular potatoes? They are just regu regular or sweet. Sweet contains more vitamin A. Oh. Um, and just worth noting that vitamins A, D, E and K all need fats to be absorbed as well, which is why food context is so important when we're thinking about making things kind of better. How you us. eat. How you eat it is so key. Mm -hmm. And finally, my free tip of the day is cook, cool and reheat your starchy foods. Potatoes, pastas, breads. Even when you freeze bread, the starch in them converts to resistant starch, which is basically a, um, uh, slows down your blood sugar um, spikes. It helps reduce the glycemic response and it also feeds your gut microbiome. Brilliant. Wow, so just taking a loaf of bread out of your freezer, that's useful. You instantly improve the nutritional value of it by freezing your Love bread. Love that, Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing Thank stuff. you. That was a great run through. Wasn't it? Thank you. Thank uh, you. For today's list of ingredients, check out the free This Morning app. There are superfoods in your cupboards right now. <laughs> they can <laughs> save your life.